But today I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to travel with your birds safely and as stress-free as possible, so keep watching. lots of time to catch your birds and get them settled in their carrier before you travel with your birds. Trust me, it'll make your traveling experience start off a lot smoother. There is nothing worse than rushing around trying to catch your birds and they are stressed out, you are stressed out, etc. Especially if you've got an appointment, say with a veterinarian. So give yourself those extra few minutes just to catch them nicely and calmly and get them settled. Maybe give them a little bit of millet to be able to calm down inside their carrier and you'll find that your birds will be a lot less stressed before your journey begins. Tip number two, ensure your birds are in a sturdy carrier before you go out traveling. The last thing you want is for the carrier to come apart when you're walking your birds to the car or whatever. I cannot tell you how many horrific stories I have heard where people have bought really cheap carriers to travel with their birds and they've been walking to the car or somewhere like that and the bottom has fallen out or the top has come off. So if you have bought a cheap carrier, that's fine, but just make sure that you test it before you walk out of your home because you do not want your bird to be flying away. Um, a lot of people actually reinforce their carriers with um, some cable ties, which is a really good idea. Okay, tip number three is take a supply of food with you when you are traveling with your bird. As a golden rule of thumb, if you are traveling with your bird somewhere that is gonna take you over an hour, ensure that you take a supply of food and water with your bird um, because you don't, just don't know what is gonna happen. You might get broken down, your car might break down, you might get caught in traffic, the weather might change, it may be a really hot day and you get stuck in traffic and your birds start dehydrating or it can be really snowy out and you get bogged down in the snow, um, etc. Tip number four, and tip number four is one of the most important tips I'm going to be telling you today and that is to cover your bird's carrier with either a towel or a blanket. This is especially important because it is going to stop your birds from freaking out. Covering your bird's carrier is going to calm your bird down and is going to ensure that the entire journey is as stress-free as possible. Covering your bird's carrier is also especially important if you have a sick bird which you take into a veterinarian because of course sick birds need a lot of warmth. So tip number five is ensure that your carrier is secure in your car. If you have a small bird and your carrier isn't too big, um, the carrier can go into the footwell and if you have a larger bird like a macaw or African grey and their cage is quite big then of course you can put the, ca the cage in the back seat and then strap it in with the seat belt but just ensure that it is nice and secure so if you did happen to have an accident you know the cage wouldn't be go flying everywhere um, another thing please ensure that you never ever travel with your bird loose in the car i know there are quite a few people that do this but um, there have been horrendous accidents that happen where um, the, the the owner's driving along and there's a car that backfires or another car hits into their car and the bird spooks and um, the bird is killed on impact by flying into the window or um, you know or the, the, the driver actually hits into somebody else it can be an absolute nightmare with a loose bird in the car if you have any tips about how you travel with your bird safely let me know um, I have a Facebook group which I'll add the link below as well as I have a website which I'll add the link below and on the website there is lots of information 
about all topics of parrot care as well. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to do a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, push the little bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos, and please share. Really appreciate it, and God bless. Stay safe out there, guys. Thanks for watching.